Alright, <clears throat> I guess I might as well record it, because, uh, I don't know, it makes me feel ballsy, you know, I might fail. So, this is going to be my first try, I'm going to, um, I'm going to try to look through space-time, right, uh, at an address that I randomly generate, it's an actual address, pretty sure, in the United States, uh, I'm going to randomly generate it, I got this cool, let's see if I can. Can I flip this? No, I can't. All right. So, I don't know if you can see this, but... I got this, uh... Random address generator. Ooh, where is it? Oh. Okay. Right. So, I'm gonna, uh... So you could see, you know, see? We're gonna go to it, and now it's gonna pop up, like, right here. See? So what I'm gonna have to do is generate it and leave the page really fucking fast because I have no one that actually wants to help me learn this, probably for good reasons, but they're dumb. So what we're gonna do is do it my damn self. So I'm gonna, ready? No, just so you know I'm not cheating. I'm gonna go, generate, ah! <gasps> All right, and it's still loading, come on. There we go, right, now it's loaded. Now it's loaded. So, on that other screen, now there's a randomly generated address somewhere in the United States. So I don't have to deal with like foreign languages, foreign shit yet. Let me learn English through space time first. Right, makes sense before I, before I go for uh, Malaysian or some shit. So, um. This is, I'm gonna do it so you can still see the screen, actually. Move to the house, mm, house number. The hard part is using the right movement command. Move to the location in physical space time of the address that I just generated on the computer. Show it to me. Move to the first digit on the house number marker on the property at the address that I just generated. Show me the marker now. Looks like a seven. See what we got. Is it a seven? 
We're going to go one digit at a time, and then once I can do digits, okay, I'm going to go for letters. That way it's, uh, you know, I'm not biting off more than I can chew in one shot, you know. Let's see what we got. Ah, backwards, man, backwards. This one. Not this one. Alright, so... Orientation needs work. When I pop up there, I have to, um, I guess, specify my orientation in space-time. Because getting there is easy. Getting there is one thing. It's really not hard. Um, you know, finding what I'm supposed to look at isn't hard. But finding the correct way to look at it, it's something you don't even think about. Because when you look at something, right? When you look at something, you're, you're going to look at this number here. Like, from left to right, it's 2057. Now, the weird thing about your, like, ethereal mind when you're moving through space-time, right? You don't pop up in gravity, you know, on the ground, you know what I mean? Like, keeping you on the ground, facing forward, you know, not upside down. Like, you'll pop up upside down, backwards, on the other side of the thing, looking through the, you know what I mean? Like, there's no hard rules for orientation really unless you practice it um so i need to specify but yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing 2057 walkers ridgeway then i need to figure out how to determine how many digits are in the um in the address number, in the house number, you know, or building number, I should say, because it's not always going to be a house, obviously. You know, I need a way to determine how many digits there are. I have to be specific about my positioning, my orientation, my direction that I'm looking at it. Which one in that orientation, so from left to right, you know, or right, you know, farthest left, farthest right. It's possible, it's just you gotta figure it out, you know? That's why I'm here.